Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how to write the equation of a parabola using the distance formula, the focus, and the directrix. So it says use the distance formula to write an equation of the parabola with focus f at 0, 4, and directrix at y equals negative 4. So let's go ahead and draw ourselves a little picture here just to maybe help us uh, get started on this a little bit. Okay, so let's draw our x and y axis. And we know that we have our directrix at negative 4, and we have our focus at 0, 4. So let's just say this is 0, 4, and this is our focus. And let's put our directrix down here, and we'll call this y equals negative 4, okay? So now I'm going to draw my parabola in here, and it's just a rough estimate. I'll kind of fix it a little bit where I would want it to go. Um, let's put it about right here. Okay, so now, obviously this is probably not what this parabola is going to look like, but we're just going to use it for our purposes here. All right, and so now we're going to find the, or we're going to use the distance formula. And so what we know about the focus and the directrix is that from the distance from the focus to the parabola and the directrix to the parabola to that same point is the same distance. So if we put a point on our parabola over here, let's just call it x comma y. Let's add some arrows to our parabola. And now, if we want to find the distance from our point on our parabola to our directrix and to our focus, okay? So now, once again, this is not drawn to scale. Obviously, those two lines that I just drew do not look like they're the same, but we're going to use it. So let's say we have point P on our parabola, and let's call point D on our directrix. Now, if we think about our directrix, this point down here is just going to be x comma negative four, right? Just whatever x value it is, but we know the y value is negative four. And so now what we can say is that the distance from P to F, so the parabola to the focus, is equal to the distance from P to D or the parabola to the directrix. And so let's use the distance formula. We're gonna say big long square root is equal to big long square root, right? And so we know the distance formula is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And we'll go ahead and do that for our other square root over here. Okay, so now let's go from P to F. So let's say we have our, our long square root and that's going to be x minus zero squared plus y minus four squared is equal to. And now we'll do the same thing over here. Now we have x minus x squared is equal to y not equal to plus there we go plus and then we have y minus negative four okay so now let's just simplify so x minus zero this is the square root and this would just be x squared and we'll leave this as y minus four quantity squared now x minus x that's going to go away so now we're just left with the square root and then y minus negative four would be y plus four and this is squared. Okay, so now we can square both sides to get rid of our radical. So let's go ahead and do that. Square both sides. So now we have x squared plus y minus 4 quantity squared is equal to y plus 4 quantity squared. Now we can expand these a little bit. So we still have x squared here, but now this is going to be y squared minus 8y plus 16 is equal to y squared plus 8y and plus 16, right? So what we did there is we expanded those square of a binomial. So y minus 4 would be, y minus 4 squared would be y squared minus 8y plus 16, and then y plus 4 squared would be y squared plus 8y plus 16, right? And so now we can combine some like terms, right? So we have this x squared, but notice we have a y squared on both sides, so those are gonna cancel. And we have a 16 on both sides, so those will also cancel, okay? And so now we have, um, let's subtract this 8y to combine it over here. Okay, so now we've got rid of that. And now we have x squared, and we have minus 16y is equal to zero, okay? And so now let's move this uh, let's move this 16y to the other side. Okay, so now that's going to give us x squared is equal to 16y. And let's divide both sides by 16 here. Okay, so now that's going to give us our equation, y is equal to, and we're going to write this as 1 over 16 times x squared. 
okay? And so that would be our equation of the parabola with focus at zero, four, and directrix at y equals negative four, all right? And that's how you can use the focus and the directrix and the distance formula to write an equation of a parabola.